Hello, everyone. Now uh, we are checking the latest DFLWD uh, HDD firmware repair software. Uh, I have connected one uh, 6TB Western Digital uh, desktop hard drive to the DFL SRP firmware repair hardware. Now we can check this is the software. Uh, on the left side, we can check the latest firmware repair function. This is the most common one for ROM unlock. And this one is mainly used for the Western Digital SMR hard drive MCU unlock. So usually simple uh, users just need to simply select the source ROM and target ROM and then uh, the program will automatically generate one unlock ROM to remove the MCU lock. And this one is used for data recovery purpose. And we can check because for the Western Digital SMR hard drives, Users cannot read the ROM directly or cannot write the ROM too. So at this time, users need to use the HDD ROM chip pin reader or some other flash programmer to read the source ROM and then select here and select the target unlock ROM and then click OK. So the unlock ROM will be generated. After the unlock ROM is generated, users can write the unlock ROM by the HDD ROM chip pin reader. Now we can check this latest software and see what kind of new features are included in this Western Digital Hard Drive Firmware Repair hardware. Now we power on, the drive gets ready like this one, and we enter the program click auto get details and we can see the hard drive ID details have been detected here and the model number the SN number and firmware version click OK and we can enter the software main function interface and here we can sort the modules and we can see this is a family name and this one is kind of a new uh, family for the family name if we want to check the full name we can go to the module c5 and this is the this is a family name okay family name here this is a full family name and for this new drive and we can uh, back up the ROM first and we need to select one uh, okay we can select this folder ROM click save so we have uh, read this ROM after that, we can back up the firmware modules. And click OK. So it's reading all the modules by ID mode. Now we can check the common functions for this common repair now these are the functions as loaders unlock smartware and for ROM we can see these are the ROM operations head map RAM operations, firmware operations, C5 
So, we, you know, when sometimes after users tested all the modules and find out which modules are corrupted, users can generate the module or add its module. Sometimes we can right click. To clear the module. So it's very uh, simple with the DFLWD from repair to like this one. We can delete modules. You know, sometimes when there are less modules, the firmware error can be noted faster. So this one. A lot of the modules are important and necessary. So sometimes we can delete modules. Defects to work with the genus, pinist, tinist, tinist means the checklist, SNist, and the smart. Users can simply reset clear smart. And translator, users can clear and regenerate this translator for the Western digital hard drives too. And for this function, self-test optimization, this one is mainly used for uh, hard drive refurbishing. This way, uh, most functions and menus here are mainly used for uh, refurbishing, not for data recovery. So please avoid using these menus if users wish to do data recovery. And this one too used for refurbishing, not for data recovery. Please note on this one, especially for the new users for DFL tools. Hex, Nox. So there are many functions for Western digital hard drives from repair. And for most drives, after uh, users fix the firmware corruption, they can test the firmware modules and edit the firmware modules or write the new modules after modification. So for most cases, after the firmware issue is fixed and the data row can be accessed properly. So after we fix the firmware corruption, users can connect this pension drive to the DFO DDP data recovery equipment for immediate data recovery. So this is the latest software for the DFLWD hard drives for the DFLWD HD.